So the talk that I've just given is about uh, the uh, drug management of complex uh, Parkinson's disease. So uh, assessing what we mean by complex Parkinson's disease, looking a little bit about the natural history studies, what we know, what happens to people with Parkinson's and the fact that it's a progressive condition. They do run into problems, but really uh, driving home the points that the motor complications are only part of the problem. And indeed, for many patients, uh, their uh, motor symptoms uh, are not really the issues. It's more the non-motor symptoms that influence quality of life. And recognising that the currently available so-called complex therapies, whether you're talking about uh, intra-intestinal uh, levodopa or apomorphine or deep brain stimulation surgery are really by and large targeting those motor components um, and so the, the talk is all about how you identify uh, suitable patients for individual therapies uh, as well as emphasising the point that for many patients uh, they won't be suitable for these treatments and how you manage those expectations and explain to patients that actually you're not going to refer them to a neurosurgeon because deep brain stimulation is not going to be uh, a good idea. So we illustrate that with a, a number of cases. So as, a, as, a, as an example, uh, one of the cases I presented uh, was a patient who uh, might in many other respects be uh, potentially suitable for deep brain stimulation for her uh, motor problems, uh, but she has a very uh, aggressive and treatment-resistant form of depression with some suicidal ideation, um, which many of us would view as, as, as a, uh, very much a contraindication to DBS. So, so an example of why someone uh, on one hand might be suitable, but actually there are other issues that, that make them un, un, unsuitable. Um, uh, on a more positive side, uh, a patient that I present uh, who has a main problem is tremor. Um, uh, unresistant to treatment, as it, as it, as it often is, um, uh, in a relatively young person, and that's someone uh, for whom deep brain stimulation may well be a, a very appropriate uh, treatment. So it's just embracing all of the, the currently available complex therapies, um, uh, talking about how you uh, identify who's suitable for which one, and, and, and most importantly, uh, why, some, why many patients are not suitable for any of them and how you manage that.